Get out of the city and into an adventure that moves the whole family. Prepare to be moved. The all-new Nissan X-Trail. On air, online, and on your smart speaker. Birdie Blue, stocking popular naked vice bag range. SAFM News Briefing. Hey, it's Amy Ross with you. Could you imagine sleeping in last night's one degree weather? Well, sadly for many South Australians, that's a reality. This week is National Homelessness Week and Senior Fundraising Manager Sonia Tufnell from Orange Sky says it's an important one, bringing attention to this ongoing issue. This week is National Homelessness Week and we're drawing attention to the rising incidence of homelessness in Australia. Southeastern producers have their fingers crossed that Chinese-imposed wine tariffs will soon be lifted like the barley ones just were. Kunawara Vigneron's chief, Hugh Koff, doesn't think it'll happen soon, though. He says the tariffs have done two things. One is that it um, highlighted to us the supply issues and the oversupply in the wine industry, and that's had a result for Coonawarra effectively of, one, forcing down prices, but also, two, it's just meant that it's been a little bit harder to sell grapes and get grape contracts for a number of people around the place. Night owls have been treated to spectacular sights as a fireball streaked across the sky just after midnight. The celestial display prompted a wave of excitement on social media, with many reporting feeling the ground shake and hearing a boom. Experts are now telling us it was most likely space junk. And a 64-year-old Mount Burn man will be appearing in court. He was stopped by police at the weekend in Millicent. Checks revealed his licence was disqualified. He was reported and his car was impounded. Meantime, a 32-year-old Mangamia woman also has a date in court. She was pulled over in the early hours of Saturday morning and returned a breath test of 0.161. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. Max Taste Challenge. In the Limestone Coast Football Association's women's competition, Apollo meant business at the weekend, smashing Narracourt 7 2 and cementing pole position. A tight one saw second place Blue Lake overcome Internationals 2 1 and Millicent beat Centrals 1 0. How does your super size up? Visit mlc.com.au forward slash supersizer to take a super check and to find out important information about MLC. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. Partly cloudy for the day across the limestone coast. We're heading for a top of 15 degrees with some light winds throughout the day. Find the perfect music station to suit all your moods on Listener. Download the Listener app now and search Mood. 